So the next step in the game, we're not going to use that yet. Next step in the game here is going to be the charge or load, okay? So D prime prime and then charge. This right here is 85 grains of powder. Probably not going to need this thing full. I would start at about a three-quarter mark. Maybe make a mark on there with a pen or something if you want to. But start with about a three-quarter mark load on that thing. It's 80 full? It's 85 full. 85 full. I got some better bottles coming for you guys in the mail today than these things. They're a little bit smaller than these. So they'll fit your tower sacks better and stuff. So just get it full and then just tap some of it out. Get it to where you're about three-quarters of the way full. Call that good. Pour it out in the shell. Now we got powder in our shell, right? Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can put a wad on top of this if you want to, between the shot and the powder. You can put a card in there between the shot and the powder. I think most of that's a waste of freaking time. I generally just pour the shot right in there on top of everything, right? That's what I do. Or I'll take a small wad and I'll put it on top of the powder. Instead of a piece of cardboard, I'll take a wad. It doesn't take very much. Just enough to give you some separation. I'll put that in. Push that down in there as far as I can get it. And the key to this is get that thing down in there good. Because you don't have a lot of room in the shell because this is not modern stuff, so it takes up more room. A volume of modern powder that would go in this thing compared to black powder is probably a third the volume or less than a third even of the volume. So you're taking up more space in the shell by using non-modern, or by using, yeah, primitive components. How big of a wad did you put? Just like the size of a dime, maybe, if I, it was even that big. And now I'm gonna take the same volume of shot. And it may not all, oops, it may not all fit in here, okay? If it doesn't all fit in there, don't sweat that. Just kind of look and see how much you got left in the end if you can't get it all in there. But I'm about three quarters of the way full on this, thing, about the same height I was inside here as I was with the powder. So don't, like I said, don't have a heart attack if you can't get it all in there because you may fill it right to the top. But when you push the cardboard on top of it here in a minute, you'll find out that it recesses pretty good and you'll have more room in there than you thought you had. So pour that in and see when it gets to the top, you can pretty much go right to the top with it. Push it down with your finger a little bit. Put a little more in there, push it down with your finger a little bit. But give yourself a little bit of space. So there's what, two, three, four of them fell out of there maybe. And then whatever was on the stump that I can't see without my glasses on. Now that I've got that, right? All I need is enough room in there for a piece of cardboard. So now I'm just gonna take a piece of this cardboard, I'm gonna shove it in there and it's bigger than this hole is, okay? So when you push it down in there, it's gonna, it's gonna come up on the sides. And now I just take this and push it down in there just like that. See how it came up all the way around on the sides? But you see how much room I've got in there now. But the tighter I can pack this, the tighter I get this in there, the more effective my pattern is going to be because I'm going to build up more back pressure in the load. And that's what I want, right? If I just stick that in there, it's going to be a much tighter pattern than you're going to have out of a muzzle loader because you're going to be able to pack that load in there a whole lot tighter. What you don't have in here that you have in a modern shotgun shell is a shot cup that basically keeps that thing in a congealed group of ball until it exits the freaking gun. You don't have that with this. So once it leaves the forcing cone in your shotgun, it's going to immediately start opening up to the choke, which doesn't happen when you have a shot cup. But don't, don't sweat. That's technical shit you don't really need to worry about. So once you get that done, that shotgun shell is ready to shoot. If I was going to put this in my bag and carry it around, I would take that hot glue and I'd run a bead of hot glue right around the outside of that. Number one, to waterproof it. Number two, just to seal it and make sure it ain't coming out of there. But I can tell you now, that ain't coming out. Could you drip wax off a candle on it? Yeah, absolutely could. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely could. I just use hot glue sticks because they're convenient. Yeah. Um, but yeah, once you, if you get this right, and you get this force down in there good, and you got the edge up all the way around like that, this thing's not coming out of there. It's going to be good, okay? Now you have a shotgun shell that's ready to shoot. Whenever you're ready, Box.
Fire! 